and welcome. The man who is helping the Minister of Communications, Mr. Debayo Shitu, makes his way into the hall where some indigenous ICT experts are already seated. He's meeting with some citizens who have used their ICT knowledge to positively impact the economy. The state government's desire to partner with the organized private sector and individuals to grow the economy using ICT. It is in view of the boundless opportunities ICT offers that the Federal Ministry of Communications has made concerted efforts to collaborate with the organized private sector to further have the opportunity of exploring the unbelievable potentials of ICT. We are still in a recession, but I believe we will soon come out of it better, stronger, and wiser if we leverage on our cities. Meanwhile, other guests in the forum appeal to the government to make internet accessible to all by opening up the broadband. Let us ensure that our broadband access infrastructure is enabled. That is the beauty. The 4G will be a story unless we endeavor the push of the broadband to every village, to every child, to every Nigerian. In another development, a group of professionals in the information and communication technology train youths at this workshop to explore the opportunities that ICT poses. They advocate for an education curricula that will encourage vocational studies in ICT. We should think out of the box, in my view. It should not just be the traditional uh, curriculum that we should emphasize. We should emphasize vocational skills, ability to, to train students to actually solve societal problems, to actually pro be programmers, to leverage the technology that are out there, most of which, as I mentioned before, are free, are free rather than focus on doing things the way they be, do, they're being done in the West. In the Western world, they can afford to acquire knowledge for knowledge's sake. We should acquire knowledge to improve our, our, our bottom line, to improve our, our living standard, to, to grow worth, essentially. So I think training is key. Information and communication technology have become the bedrock of many developed countries of the world and development experts are thrilled that Nigeria is not left out in the frenzy.